Well, for all of you football fans out there, we've got a new way to serve beer and cheese, and today we ta we are ta ta What are we doing? <laughs> we're tasting this stuff, <laughs> and we're pairing it with craft beers that I've already been into, obviously, and our artisanal cheeses with sommelier Kristen Nuss Farrand is with us, Welcome. and she is going to give us some great pairings of some beer with the cheese. This is trending, trending right now? Really? Very trendy right now. Um, craft beer means it's low production and you know where your product's coming from, they know where they're getting their water, they know where they're getting their their grains from, so it makes it um, controlled so you know what's going in your body. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. And it's small production, so it's not, so it's gonna be made um, with more love, more mm -hmm. quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can taste the difference in a craft beer. So we usually pair cheese with fine wines, and now we're going to do it with beer. So well, how do I we do that? I am a sommelier, so Som I am used to doing wine, but I did have to learn beer going through my training. And I find beer actually easier. Oh, Don't really? quote me on this, but okay. beer is much easier to go with cheese. Nice. I find it's got a little less complexity than wine, mm -hmm. and especially because, um, like with the first one here that we're going to start with, we're going to start from our right, okay. right here. Yeah, they, right? I brought a local is, Belgian style pale ale. Okay. This one's yours. Right? right. So we're going to start with the lightest one. Okay. Right? And it's got a real mellow finish. It's a real mellow Ooh, beer. Ooh, I like that. Right? So that's Belgian right, that's style. Lovely. It's a very local beer. Mm -hmm. And that's also being very trendy because of our oh, what you carbon footprint. Yep. There's, There's more beer here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're not chugging? Yeah. We're no. not chugging. Sorry. No. Wait, that's I thought, I had, I, thought I had to chug it and then flip the cup. Yeah. Okay. All of these are full and we're going to chug them. Different segment. Got it. Got it. We're going to mix these with our first cheese that I brought, which is a triple cream oh, oh, triple cow's cream. Oh, wow. milk local again made Stop in california it. okay I was cow's gonna milk right it's a brie style enough. we're going to put a little bit of our brie on the cracker with a little bit of the apricot oh delicious apricot okay. as well. yeah. apricot is one of the best fruits with beer i don't know if anyone agrees with me but mm. i love apricot and beer i like that oh, you say you. apricot my wife always makes fun of me because okay. she says apricot and i also oh. have pecans on the plate i like is how you say that as well pecan i don't know Whatever you want. So apricot you apricot the beer first or the cheese first okay there's two ways good of doing this. You wash it down with beer. That's you wash really it down with beer because you want the beer to complement the cheese. You want the beer, yeah. everything to come together as a lovely oh, marriage. Yeah. You know, you want them all to marry. Mm -hmm. So you don't want one to outshine the other. You want them to complement right. each other. Mm, sure. There's also contrasting pairings, which is going to be our last one. I like that. Mm. Right. So we're in that sense, we're trying to conflict the flavors versus yep. complement. We're trying okay. to meet the flavors head on mm -hmm. to okay. make the marriage again. Uh -huh. Right. Flavor right. explosion. What's the exactly next one? for a flavor explosion. Not that I want to see him chug another one, but what's the next one? So our next beer here is very local. Dark. This is Maine and Van Eyes, California. Oh, yeah. This is a microbrewery, which is also becoming right. very trendy. I I hate so this That's is an funny. amber beer. Mm -hmm. And once again, it's going to be mellow, but I feel it has a little fruit to it. Yes. So we're going to mix this one with our second one here with our goat gouda. Oh, goat which okay. is also really good. I love goat local. gouda. So we got a goat gouda, which is a little sweet. Uh -huh. The gouda is a little yeah. sweet. The beer is a little sweet. I'm, I'm they, hinting like a chocolatey, right? uh, yeah. like a, yeah. like a and cacao. So a I, cacao. cacao. Yeah. And so I put a little bit of fig in there, and the uh -huh. fig's going to give you a lovely texture. Okay. So okay. It's going to give you a little crunch Delicious. there, too. You've also added a little bit of sweet with each of the cheeses. Yes. What is the purpose a of that? A little bit of sweet. Well, the sweet's going to cut through any of the hoppy bitterness, any, of, of, the the, any of the beer, oh, okay. you know, finish. Uh -huh. If it has any kind of finish that's a little bit mm. bitter, you're going to like oh, good. cut mm. it down. And then the fig's going to bring the fruit out and everything. Mm -hmm. It's just going to go together like yep. Kim's cheese and beer. It's going to go together like cheese and beer. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like that jelly. like, you know, this in football? Seriously. Right? right? What a great this compliment. Mm -hmm. I watch a lot of football oh, and this lovely. makes me right. happy. So do this I. makes me you happy do. while I watch football. Yeah, I, I love football. Right? Now, my team is finally ranked. For the Which yeah, one? Which Tem one? The Temple Owls are finally ranked Never nationally. I have a question. Never Who ranked heard them? them? Really? Who yeah. that? And who are they? <laughs> who are they? Yeah, exactly. Who are they? They're the Temple Owls and we're ranked. <laughs> First time in my whole Temple life. Owl. First time in my life. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, we should drink to that. We should. Okay. So what's our last pairing? So our last okay. pairing is going to be a pumpkin ale for the season. Oh. I picked pumpkin. Mm. You know, it's all in the season. Yeah. And I paired it with a local blue cheese. Oh. Pecan oh. And honey. Oh. Stop. So we want to put some pecan. We want to put some honey. This if someone needs more honey, crazy. there's some right in the middle here. And this was actually made no. from a pumpkin. So pumpkin, yes, it actually That's has actually pumpkin good. flavoring in the ale. Oh, it's okay. Uh huh. It really is. And now this ale, even though it's a little lighter in color, it's going to 
have to punch. It's got a lot more yeah. pop to it. Oh, it's got a lot more finish. It's a lot more complex. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm going to put it with the blue yeah. cheese, which is a lot more complex. Mm -hmm. It's going to hit you in the face. Yeah. Both right. of them are going to hit you in the face. Uh. And then we're going to put it with pecan and honey mm. to bring it all down. Oh, wow. Marry it like together that. and make it almost oh. like a, like a Thanksgiving yeah. dessert. That's my favorite. That one. There's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Sweet. This has, yeah, this has like much it. more flavor to right? it. It really uh -huh. wakens up the senses. Yep. This one, so the first one was very smooth, though. Smooth. Yeah. Very, Mellow. Mellow. Very complimentary. And as yeah. you can see, this one was more of a contrast, but it all comes together in the I say you start in the first quarter with the smooth, because you don't uh -huh. know how my ravens <laughs> are going to do. They're going to struggle, and at the end, when well, you really right? need them. And this is almost like a dessert. This is almost I, like, I, yeah. you know. I can't wait to show up to my normal <laughs> Sunday football group right? with oh, all yeah. these yeah. cheeses. I'm coming in with right. my so excited. The football group you guys right. <laughs> and use the, the apricot. Use the apricot. Yeah. No, it's apricot. No, it's apricot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.